Hey, look, a poodle. Hello, how are you today? Hey, boy. So I gotta take the poodle off my compendium now, don't I? Um, lots of domesticated stuff are on uh, my, com my, my compendium. I, I looked at um, the list. I even made a spreadsheet for Starfield. Um, just so I have an idea on what I'm working with. Um, I learned how to use spreadsheets quite a bit through work. So now I'm fucking spreadsheet crazy and... Did I learn how to use Excel? Sir, can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Sure. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. All right. What is wrong with you? My God, there's some real fine beauties around here. <laughs> I meant to antagonize, not fucking flirt, you dirty dog. God damn. Everyone's walking on the street, get on the damn sidewalk! Good morning to you. Morning to you. Hello. Looking for a trim? I am. Hello, what do you need? Well, as you can see, the uh, the facial hair's gone out of control. Ah, looking sharper than a tack. Then be like, Arthur, where'd you get your haircut? I'm gonna say, ah, you're all right, boy. You. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Please tell your friends about us. Thank you very much. Friend. Hey. And now from here, I will go to the. General store. Here. Anything else? I don't think so. Out of the way. I'm on a tight schedule. What? A very good morning to you. So you How y'all doing? Just wait. Oh. All right. oh. Okay. Oh! I'm sorry. Fucking trolleys everywhere. That's parallel parking at its finest. Stay here, boy. Oh, 
Okay, cigarettes, 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 and cigarettes. Ah. Oh, first time. Come on in, take a look. The shelves are all labeled up top. You don't see something, just check the catalog. Tobacco! Thank you, sir. Very helpful. Yeah, I see tobacco. Got a section for cigarettes or something? Alcohol, cheese, tobacco. Don't get your name put on a store. Why? Oh, all right. Jolly Jack cigarettes. Fountain pen. And uh, you know what? While I'm here, um, sure is convenient having this shop near the waterfront. Wish yeah. The smell were better. Jogger bar. Appreciate. Some for the road. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And this is why it's so easy to get lost in Red Dead 2. Makes me terrified for what GTA 6 can do. I heard Red Dead 2 is going to be the last of Rockstar's kind because it's... There's different people working for Rockstar now. I guess we'll find out. I'll let him go. Okay. Take a pamphlet. No. Damn way! We had a dedicated button for that. Homes for the blind. Whoa there! How the hell is wrong? You need something? I said hello, Mister. Huh? Hello again? I guess. You goddamn fool! Put your back up and try this again. Okay. Him aside. Hey, partner. Hi there, mister. Hello. Hello, All right. We're going to move on. Keep our eye to the sky. Looking for snakes, too. I don't no, I'm pretty sure my rattlesnake's gonna be in the bayou. I remember hunting that one on PS4. I just rode around the trails in the bayou until he popped up. Ah. Uh, uh, gentlemen, y'all don't wanna do this with me. You really don't. <sighs> yep. Don't you move a muscle. Could use some help here. I will shoot you if you move again. Come on. Don't have to go down oh, like this. Ah! Well, here we go then. Oh 
Oh my god. thousand things every day. Let's make sure this is one of them. It's my hat. Fuck. You brave boy. Right now. Whoa. Okay, boy. Okay, fella. Hey. What a mess. What the okay. fuck is that? Okay. I am looking for a timber wolf eventually. The timber wolf would yeah. not be there, so I think we'll be all right. I'm here to deal with the grays. Yes. Don't look at the sky, because if I see something useful, I can't put my gun out. I can take my binoculars. What's going on here? Oh. oh God, what what what's happening here? I'm unarmed. Gotta do this hand to hand then. Ah! You're gonna die here. Ah! 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 What the fuck is this? What do I do? I didn't do nothing. Oh. I'm not. I don't know what I did. I can't even punch. I'm not allowed to be lethal at all. I'm in a social area, as far as I'm concerned. What is this? We gotta go, Isaac. These people are fucked up. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Isaac, please. Get me out of here. Isaac, please. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Don't follow me. Go easy, boy. 
What the hell happened there? Yeah. This isn't something to do with my bounty, is it? Did I like step on their toes? Being in, in like the back? Helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. All right. All right. Some fucking service now. You might be our dumbest deputy yet. What? Hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Master Bo. All right. I guess what happened must have been, um, I was trespassing. No one said anything, they just came and fucking gunned me down. A bunch of lunatics. With all the guns here. Despicable. This isn't a place to live. He around. Hmm. Master Bo. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. All right. Oh, look out for their guards. They're 
worse with strangers than ours are. Yeah, I've met them. So long, and good luck. Where did Isaac run off to? I thought I told him to stay. Isaac. I should really appreciate you taking those to her. Mm hmm. Coming. This way. Please don't follow. No one can know you're my go between. I'm not following you. I'm leaving. You stay right where you were. I love this track. It's a it's a nice track. I don't like you guys. Hey, you better follow that order, right? <laughs> right? Let's go. Yeah. Did I jump over? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think I like the soundtrack because of just the mood the game is in. New country, things seem hopeful. They seem a little nicer. Yeah, those Braithwaite guards, they kinda, they kinda just shoot on sight. There's the gazebo. Yeah, they don't care about me. This isn't the, the gazebo? Ah, shit. Let's go. There's another gazebo? Oh, I see it. There we have her.
Madam. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, <clears throat> but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Without being seen, they say, huh? Yeah, I can do that. There's also an outhouse of interest around here. I might be a little nosy. I don't remember where this outhouse is. This isn't it. This is it. Found a crazy young woman, real strange looking, locked in a kind of outhouse, hidden on Braithwaite Manor. World ain't a kind of place to folk like her. And I just shoot the chains off? I can I just... Can I put you out of your misery? Oh! <laughs> Gotta get out of here. I'm causing too much trouble. <laughs> In the meantime. I'm gonna go straight to Bo. Since the day's still young, I think. No, it's not. Day's really not young. 
We're gonna be going back to camp. Jet. To get back to camp. This is not a place for folk like me. No, it's not. Kind of a nice night, eh? Hey, this is beautiful. Wow. I feel like there's a lot of things I miss about the game. Because I play it pretty routine. And a site like this, I don't come by too often. It's nice. Gotta enjoy the little things. I forget, forget what rule that was in Zombie Land. Oh well. Special. Well, not you again. I guess I got time for it. Oh. We gotta move. I'm taking over this robbery. This will be my take. We gotta move fast. Central Union Railroad. What I cannot have is a law coming here with this disturbance. And it will come.
I meant to get back to camp at a reasonable hour, but... I'm afraid this is too good to pass up. It's, uh... Unless they already looted the place. I'm missing something. No. Or not. I think that would... I, I would say that would just leave the wagon. Unless one of them has it in their pockets. Anything? Lame. Alright, let's, let's get out of here before Law shows up. Yep. <laughs> oh, and it's right by camp, too. Yeah, they're gonna wonder where I've been. I've been away for a while. Well, home now, I guess. What, 10 o'clock? Yeah. You don't need to ask where I've been. Thank you. You okay? Do you realize you look like a backstreet butcher, Mr. Morgan? Shut up. You know, my pa used to say you stare into the fire long enough you can see the whole world pass by. I always thought it was the most stupid thing I ever You want heard. another drink? Sure. Aside from all the other stupid <laughs> things he used to say, of course. You're good hell. Now I know you're exactly what he meant. Guess that's age for you. <laughs> you know, me and you're, humbling me you're okay <sighs> for a greaser. Well, you know, you're okay for an asshole. I know that. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> oh, God. Man, you're a real creep, Morgan. <sighs> you fellas, man. You fellas. I I love you fellas. I do. Do you? Sure. I mean, you're all you're all dumb and innocent and stuff. <laughs> it makes my heart warm. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hey, what, what is your story anyway, Micah? I told you. I guess I missed it. Well, then I guess. You'll have to listen closer next time. I'm drunk as a lord. Oh, me too. Yes. <sighs> I'll see you later. 
Well then. Got a two for that one. I still need to clean my gun so I can accept that gun oil. Javier. Hello, Arthur. Okay. Sleep till morning. Coffee, bitches. See uh, that gray kid again, Bo. Be on our way. But I think we'll be happy, happy. Coffee bitches, what's up, ladies? Ladies? Mrs. Adler? Good morning, Arthur. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Nice. Damn, there is blood on me, eh? sounds sincere. I don't remember you saying hello. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for a second. <laughs> See, Karen can take a joke. Alright, Char Isaac. Charlie's my online horse. I have a closer connection with Charlie than I would Isaac. We played a lot online on PC. Or it went to shit. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Otters everywhere. Rocks are not doing a damn thing about it. Yeah, you all right there, boy? And now missions just don't even start. Bring my girlfriend online to play and don't work. Molly's mission. Not my problem today. Morning. Hi, huh? ah, Lenny. You might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. Appreciate you saying that. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure. Mm -hmm. I guess I go to get the blood off me, eh? Do it. There we go. Yep. Away we go. I really hope I don't miss any optional honor missions. I'm pretty sure I'm getting them all. It's just weird that uh, it's the course of True Love 2 and then 3, so where's 1? They're singing again. Hey! 
What's your problem? Weirdo. Did we go around the same way or what? Did we go left? I think we'll go left. Wait up a spell, partner. Now nah, you again. To this fine town. Profit and pillage? What is it with the men round here? You looking for a volley of musket fire? This is the Moen Raider land. Excuse me? Just about done with you! Oh. Oh. You might not be from the Moen, but you'll die. And I can't pull the knife, eh? Fine. Uh, uh. You ain't gonna win this. Raiders bow like it. Get that. Still think you're tough? I'm full of cut marks. You piece of shit. Actually pisses me off. I made sure my clothes was all nice, looking presentable. After fucking Pearson just roasted me with uh, with that bullshit about looking like a butcher. What you next, Pearson? Passing through, don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. Yeesh. Yeah, Bo was right about the guards being batshit crazy. Then. How are we not hitting him? <clears throat> you know me, I'm on official business for the family. All right, come on. <sighs> Gotta take this way. A little deeper in there. Now we gotta fix your fence.
Go hiding? Wouldn't happen to be a horse I don't have, no? Nope, they're all walkers. Never mind. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <laughs> uh. I can't be bothered. Here, <laughs> take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Huh? But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. All right. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on. Cool. Come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. All right. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Now, what? Fight this mob? <laughs> they need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Now, now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Banker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. 
I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. <laughs> Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 And gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. His philosophy hey. dependent on What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, we will. You learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo. a cucky little... Bo, weren't we just leaving? Oh. Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see huh. how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all... We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Right. Battlefield. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether <laughs> to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. <laughs> the sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Hmm. I like how they mention that messed up outhouse woman. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Hmm. 
Cool.